Okay, um, we're gonna go to Brain Pop's uh, Magnet Hunt game. So in Google, you can simply type Brain Pop Magnet Hunt. And then here it is, right, the first thing. And over here, you can just X that little window out. And let's get started. Oh, you did what? They hid Mr. Hart's super duper important magnets all around the yard. Yeah, they were playing treasure hunt. But we made a map. All right, let's see what's going on. So first we're going to do a tutorial together. <coughs> and these guys are going to help us learn about magnets. We gotta find those magnets before Mr. Hart flips out. Yeah, I could use a break from digging my pit. Oh, and guess what? You're gonna love this. Mr. Hart gave me his magnet detector kit. Yes, magnet detector kit. Wait, what's a magnet detector kit? It's a bunch of tools that can help us find the magnets Max and Honey buried. Luckily, Honey helped us figure out our map. Sort of. Awesome. So what are all those black things all over the dirt? That's our first tool. Um, a bunch of little black flecks. How's that gonna help? Ha! Come on, man, wait till you see this. Try moving the magnet around a little. Okay, do you see what happens there? Uh, you can see the magnet filings are attracted to the south pole and the north pole of the magnet. Whoa, what just happened? Those black flecks are actually iron filings. They line up with the magnetic field around the magnet. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Magnetic fields are invisible. But the iron filings let us see exactly what the magnetic field looks like. Wow, seeing invisible stuff, that's like superhero level coolness. Why do the filings look like they're pointing at the tips of the magnet? Magnetic fields loop from one end of the magnet to another. So it kind of looks like the filings are pointing at the poles, but that's just because they line up with the magnetic field. Poles? What are poles? The poles are where the magnetic field is strongest, the ends of the magnet. Cool! Iron filings check. Do we get any other superhero tools? Totally. There's a whole bunch of compasses. So let's look at the south pole of the magnet and I'll show you how they work. Can you grab a compass for me? Sure. Okay, we're gonna grab the compass there. Now here's what you need to look at. Do you see how as I move it around the screen, the red part points to the south pole? So a compass is just a tiny magnet that's allowed to spin freely. A compass is a magnet? Does that mean the compass has poles too? Yeah, it does. The North Pole is red and the South Pole is blue. Take a look, which pole the compass is pointing at our magnet? Hmm, the red side, so that means the North Pole. Right. How does the compass decide which way to point? Basically, magnets are good sports. They always follow a few simple rules and they never cheat. Rule one, North attracts South and South attracts North. Attract? What's that mean? It means they move as close to each other as they can. Mr. Hart called it opposites attract. So students, if you see here the red, that's that represents north, and this represents south. So they're attracted to each other. <laughs> you can see that the south pole, the compass, is pointing away from that because they repel each other. And rule two, north repels north and south repels south. Repels, what's that? North and north really don't like each other and push each other away. Same thing with south and south. Wow, I didn't know poles had arch enemies. What happens if I put the compass up here? Oh man, the compass's north pole got as far away as it could from the magnet's north pole. They really do hate each other. But wait, now the compass's north pole is pointing away from the magnet's south pole. I thought north and south were supposed to attract. What gives? 
That's why there's a third rule. Rule three, the farther away, the weaker the effect. The North Pole, the compass is super close to the magnet's North Pole. So it wants to get away from North even more. Oh, I get it. So what happens if I put the compass right here? The compass just follows the magnetic field. It doesn't point at North or South. It's right in the middle, so it can't decide. See how the iron filings and the compass line up? That's because they both just depend on the magnet's poles. Wow, those poles are pretty strong. Can we practice now? Sure, drag around some compasses to see how they work. Okay, so what's our last superpower? It looks like a green square thingy. Ah, good try, that's magnetic film. Drag it out onto the yard and see what happens. All right, let's put more of these compasses out here. Can you see what happens? The opposite poles attract each other. So red is always drawn to blue. And blue is always drawn to red. So it's you're never going to see the same pole attracted to the same pole. So it's always south to north, and then north to south. Here's these cool iron filings. You can see more of what the magnetic field is like. And this magnetic film is pretty cool. It's another way to see the uh, magnetic field. Now, this is the, if you see that, sort of like the outline of the magnetic field. I think that's pretty cool. The film shows the magnetic field. It changes colors to get closer to the magnet. Oh, that makes sense. Yes, we can use the iron filings, the compasses, and the magnetic, magnetic film to find buried treasure. Wait, buried treasure? Oh, uh, um, I mean, Mr. Hart's magnets. Why, what I'd say? Never mind. So, you can see there, the closer you get, the redder it gets to the magnetic field. Okay. So, let's go to the playground now. Time to practice our superpowers, play around with the tools, and see how they act around the magnetic field. We can move the magnet too. So, there we go. Let's put some iron filings out here. Wow, look at that. It's pretty cool. And the compasses, of course. Opposite poles are attracted to each other. I love just moving the compass around and watching it move. Be attracted to the other poles. And you can do this too. You can go to this website. I'm just sort of playing with it. In case you can't go to this website or it doesn't work out, you can just watch me and learn from me doing it. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this. Excuse me, let's play this game together. Let's find the buried treasure or the missing magnets. Honey said there was a magnet somewhere around here. You can place each tool somewhere in the dirt. Then guess where you think the magnet is. Okay, so I'm going to just drop compasses in random places. Now remember, red points to the blue end of a, of a compass. Oh, I can't move those anymore. I'm thinking, see how the red things all point to here? Oh, there's one end of the compass. And I need to see where the blue is pointing. Looks like... Oh boy. North... Well, I know the South Pole is going to be right there. And it looks like the North Pole is going to be somewhere around here. I don't know. It could be totally wrong. Oh, yay! I was really close. Okay, we were pretty close to the North Pole, even close to the South Pole. Your total score is 0 0.84 centimeters. 
so they added together our two distances. So we want this number down here to be as small as possible. Let's try that again. Oh boy, it's gonna be hard. Oh no. Now I can see red is playing over here, so I think South Pole's there. Uh, oh boy, North Pole's gonna be here. Oh, this was a bad one. Yeah, I was way off. <clears throat> hey, but you can stop watching me and you can go try this for yourself. See if you can locate. I'm going to try this one more time, I think. You can see if you can locate the north and south pole of a compass. Okay, I see red and red pointing here. And blue and blue pointing here. Oh, okay. That's looking pretty good. Okay. So I'm getting the clear. Oh yeah. I think I found the blue pole there. Oh, boom! I'm gonna get this one. So red is pointing here, so that means it's the south pole. And north is pointing right. Yeah, or the blues are pointing there, so I know the North Pole. Boom. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's super close. This takes a little practice, then you can find where these magnets are. So go ahead and you go to this website, try playing the game, learn a little bit about how magnets work, because that will give you a little insight in what you're going to be doing on Thursday.